fiery heart with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hal Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Indian companion Toto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. It was late afternoon when Harvey Madison entered the Grand Hotel. He glanced around the silent lobby, then approached the clerk at the high desk. Uh, Howdy, Mr. Madison. Is there anything I can do for you? Maybe there is. Uh, no complaints, I hope. No, no complaints. I have a letter here. A boy brought it to my office this afternoon. It's from a man named Smith. Oh, yes. Yes, Mr. Smith. Mm -hmm. Do you know him? Mm -mm. Came into town this morning. Rented a room here. He asked some questions about you. What did he ask? Oh, he wanted to know when you came to town, what you were doing here. What did you tell him? I just answered his question. Told him he came about two months ago to work for John Lever. Then he borrowed some writing paper and sat down over there and wrote a note. Likely the one you got from him. I see. I, uh... I hope I didn't do anything wrong, Mr. Madison. No, I guess not. He wants to see me. Uh, where's his room? It's right here on the first floor. Number nine, down at the end of the hall. Thanks. I'll take you there myself. You needn't bother. No, oh, it's no bother. Just come this way. I think Mr. Smith is in his room right now. The way he spoke, I thought he was a friend of yours. Don't uh, you know the name? Smith is a mighty common name. What's his other name? I don't know. He just put his initials in the hotel register. B.J. Smith. I see. What's he look like? Oh, he's a real polished gent. Tall, lean, wears fine clothes. Well, here's his door. Thanks. Yes, what is it? He's in. All right, Joe, thanks. Anything else I can do for you, Mr. Madison? Yes, go back to your desk. Don't hang your ear on the keyhole. No, of course not, sir. The very idea. Who is it? Harvey Madison. The door is unlocked. He walk in. Well, hello there, Mr. Madison. Blackjack. What are you doing here? At the moment, I'm playing a game of solitaire. Excellent game for keeping the fingers nimble. Oh, please forgive me for not rising to meet you. What are you in Reed City for? Sit down, my... Uh, Madison. <laughs> it's awkward to call you Madison. The name Martin is much more familiar to me. Why, are you... Oh, don't be alarmed. I'll forget your former name. I'll call you Madison. That's little enough to do for a friend. We are friends, aren't we, Harvey? You came to Reed City because you found out I was here. What do you want? Stop riffling those cards. Your nerves are bad, Harvey. Do you like a drink? No, thanks. 
I understand you're working for John Lever. What if I am? How do you like the railroad business? I make a living. That's all I make. I can't pay blackmail. Hmm. I suppose you know that there's a reward posted for information leading to your arrest. Look here, Blackjack. You know darn well that I didn't keep a dime of that cash I stole from that bank in Osage County. You took every cent away from me with your crooked card game. Harvey, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. John Lever is going to build a railroad. He plans to buy land for the right of way. You work in his office in a trusted capacity. You've got the true facts. If I knew what land he wants, I might go ahead of him, buy options on that land. Then he'd have to pay my price to get it. What about it? All I want from you, my good friend Martin, uh, Madison, is a little information. Seems to me you've got all the information there is. All but the essential information. I want the names of the people who own the land that has to be bought by the railroad. I can't help you, Blackjack. I don't know what land's going to be bought. Lever has the information. Yes, but he's kept it confidential. The list is in a sealed up envelope in his safe. You can open the safe. I can't break the seal on that envelope, though. Aside from Lever himself, there's only two of us that know the combination to the safe. You and Lever's son? Yeah, me and Ben. If my boss found the envelope broken open, he'd know right away that I was the one who did it. He might suspect his son. Yeah, he'd be likely to. Cut the sarcasm, Harvey. I, uh, I think I can arrange matters so he will suspect his own son. How can you do that? Oh, I can arrange it. With your cooperation. We'll start by getting Ben Lever to play poker with me. Early evening found the Lone Ranger in a camp not far from town. He knew with the speed of Tonto's approach that his Indian friend brought news of interest or importance. Oh, Scott, oh, fella, oh, oh, fella, oh. Aye. Oh, fella. Well, let's have it, Tonto. Maybe, maybe good idea you come into town. Oh, how's that? A young fella head for trouble. Who? Son of railroad man. Ben Lever? Ah. Me see him in cafe. Me see gambler, too. You remember Black Jack? Black Jack? Ah. See you in Reed City? Ah. No, he's like black ink. He stains everyone with whom he comes in contact. That's right. Why is he in Reed City, you know? Um, me not know. But him start poker game with Ben Lever. For what? That young fellow has no money. Blackjack, me not know. Oh. Blackjack's up to something. I'm going to find out what it is. Uh, him see you once before. I know it, Tonto. But I'll wear a disguise this time. I'll, I'll darken my skin and dress you as a Mexican. you stain for face and hands? Yes, I have the powder you made, Tonto. I'll have to mix it with a little water. Now, while I'm doing that, you might get those Mexican clothes from the saddlebags. The game of poker in a corner of the cafe moved fast. 19-year-old Ben Lever playing an honest game was hardly a match for the skilled way in which Black Jack handled the cards. Ben held some good hands. Full house. Tens over queens. But they were not good enough. Sorry, Ben. Take a look at these. Four of a kind. Aces. Four aces. Yeah, that's too bad, Ben. I thought you had me that time. Oh, I guess these are mine, huh? Golly, I, I never saw such luck as yours. Too bad for you. Mr. Smith, will you lend me another hundred dollars? My luck is sure to change. I already hold your IOUs for a thousand dollars. I know it, but... How but do you I... plan to pay them off? Well, I, I don't... Have you any money? No. Serves you right, Smith. He had no business playing with Ben Lever. He ain't your class. I hope Smith never collects. Why, gentlemen, you embarrass my young friend. Ben, perhaps we can reach an agreement. What do you mean? Your father is laying plans for the railroad, isn't he? Yes. What about it? Well, I want a slight favor from you. Huh? However, it won't do to discuss matters in front of all these men. Well, gentlemen, the game is over. If you'll favor us with your absence, I'll pay for your drink. <laughs> Convincing at close range. Ah, it's all right. Do you see Blackjack? Him over in the far corner. Oh, yes, I see him. That's Ben Lever with him, isn't it? That's right. It looked like card game finish. I wonder if we're too late. The young fellow looks plenty pale. We'll move over toward that table. Ah. Ben appears angry. 
The ice fist is clenched. Him plenty angry. Now I see the whole game. Looks like trouble, Tonto. Uh, friend, if you're going to welch in a gambling, you cheated in that game. Don't accuse me of cheating. I do accuse you. You knew I didn't have money. You want to get me in debt so you can make that proposition, you crook. Get on your feet and say that. I'll get on my feet. Look out, boys. You crook. You'll pay that debt one way or another. A moment, senor. Uh, what what you planned is a gun. You must change the plan. Let go of me. Let go. <laughs> no, no, senor. Not before I see if you carry the gun. This is no affair of yours. Confound you. Oh, so this is your gun, eh? Perhaps I'd better take it with me. Let, let me go. Uh, you wish to go? Muy bien, i help you. The window is near the door, eh? Put me down. Put me down, you hear? Easy, I put you down outside. Oh! Great day. Pass him clear through the window. I asked to be put down. I did as he requested. Golly, mister, I, I guess you saved my life. Uh, perhaps, senor. I do not think he would have shot you. Ah, uh, you'd better leave here at once, however. Come, we shall go to the door with you, huh? Hey, Mexico, the sun boys would like to buy you a drink. Yeah, come on, come on. Gracias, gracias, senor. I'm sorry I'm not the time. Say, what's your name? I hit the door. Tonto, you were going to see how the gambler is, huh? Uh, you go around the back of building. I'll never forget how you handled that gambler. Yeah. How much did he win from you, huh? Fifty dollars in cash and a thousand in IOUs. And what, senor, did he want you to do to repay him for the money he loaned you? Well, you see, my dad is planning a railroad. See, si, see, si, I know. He has to buy land for the right of way, and he'll pay a fair price for the land, but he doesn't want to be robbed. No, of course not. That crooked gambler wanted to know the names of the landowners. I know his game. He'd grab up that land and then hold out for a whopping big price when Dad tried to buy it. And could you supply the desired information? No, I couldn't do it, even if I wanted to. Dad's got the name sealed in a brown envelope and locked up in his safe. I... Golly, I... I don't know why I'm telling you all this. He's quite all right, amigo. Gracias. Now I must leave you. Uh, Tonto signals for me to join him. But you haven't told me your name. Hasta la vista, amigo mio. Yes, Tonto, what is it? You come this way, Kimasabi. Black Jack Banker Cafe with other fella. With whom? You know one the fella. Him named Martin. Him wanted by law in Osage. Harvey Martin? That's right. So he's in Reed City, huh? Maybe we hear him talk if we go back a building. You see, Martin, uh, Mr. Sheriff, uh, I should say Madison, even though Ben rejected my proposition, I've accomplished my purpose. By uh, getting tossed through the window? No. But I don't regret that Mexican's interference. Everyone in that cafe is now aware of what happened. They all know that Ben is indebted to me, that he hasn't the cash to pay me, and that I made a proposition to him. I see. Word of the affair will undoubtedly reach his father. And when the sealed envelope is open, the lever will suspect his own son. Exactly. You see, Harvey, even though you work for Lever, I'll have things arranged so you'll be in the clear. I'll see you later. I'm going back in Kima Sally. Maybe we tell Law that feller is wanted in Osage, yeah? No, not just yet, Tonto. I think we can make better use of our information. I'm going to call on Ben's father. While the Lone Ranger replaced the Mexican disguise by his own familiar clothes and mask, he recalled the number of times the Law had tried in vain to put the sway of gambler and his plan in jail. Later that same night, when the masked man reached John Lever's home. I want your help. In return, I may be able to help you. You say you don't want my son to know you came here? No. You see, I want to tell you how he lost $1,000 in a card game. What? I also want to tell you about a bank robber who's in your employ. falls in the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. On the morning following the poker game, Ben Lever and Harvey Madison were at their desk when Ben's father entered the office. Ben, I've been hearing things about you. Oh, I, I suppose you have, Dad. I, you played poker in the cafe last night. I, I meant to tell you about it, but I didn't. Did you hear about that game, Harvey? Well, yes, I, I did, Mr. Lieber. I guess everyone has heard about the way Ben lost. How much did you lose? Well, I only had $50 in cash, Dad. Uh, I lost that. Then, well, I, I thought my luck would change, and Mr. Smith was willing to lend me cash, so I gave him my OUs. Well, how much? Uh... Thousand dollars. What? How in the world do you expect to pay such a sum? I'm not going to pay it. That man cheated. He's a crook. He he wanted me to do something for him, and that's why he got me into debt. Oh, Ben, you'd better be careful. I've heard a few things about Blackjack Smith. He's a mighty tough hombre. If you don't pay what you what orders, can he do about it? I don't know, Ben, but he's dangerous. Maybe you'd better try and settle with him in some way. As far as I'm concerned, he can go hang. <laughs> after the town had gone to bed. Harvey met Blackjack in the darkness near the hotel. It's about time you got here. Did you get out of the hotel without being seen? Yeah. That is, I, I think I did. You think? Blackjack, I, I've had the feeling that I was watched. I've had that feeling all day. Have you seen anyone watching you? No, but... Oh, hang it all. I've just had the feeling, that's all. Yeah, uh, your imagination. How did things go in the office? Just as you planned. The boss was pretty sore when he found out about Ben's gambling. I got a word of warning in. Told Ben he'd better settle with you in some way. Good enough. Let's get to that office. Blackjack. Come on. I don't like to sneak into Lever's office at night. You don't have to like the idea. If you'd wait a day or two, I might be able to get that brown envelope during the day. Ben is there all day. So is his father. Sometimes I'm alone in the office. I need that list of names tonight. I intend to start working on it tomorrow. What's the rush? Lever's man, Sprague, is supposed to start buying up the land this week. I've got to work fast or he'll beat me to it. Maybe I could get the list first thing in the morning. Harvey, do you want to go through the plans as I've made them? Or go back to Osage as Harvey Martin, bank robber? I'm going through with your plans, ain't I? See that you do. Just a minute. Wait. What is it? Look, do you see anyone behind us? Oh, it's too dark to see anything. I wish I could get rid of the feeling that I'm being watched. Come on. Blackjack. Now what's the matter with you? Uh, are you dead sure Ben Lieber will be blamed for this? Stop worrying. Just wait until I get the options. Then you'll see what happens to Ben Lieber. If John Lever suspected that his office had been entered during the night, he kept his suspicions to himself. Neither Ben nor Harvey noticed the peculiar glint that occasionally came into his eyes. No more was said about Ben's gambling loss. The subject seemed closed until late afternoon of the second day when the door of the office swung open. Mr. Lever? I am, Mr. Lever. Well, I reckon this envelope's for you. Fellow over at the hotel gave me two bits to bring it here to you. Maybe it's meant for Ben Lever. Have you settled with that gambler yet, Ben? No, and I don't intend to. I'll take that envelope. Well, should I wait and see if there's an answer? No, you needn't bother. All right, sir. I should think you'd be worried about what that gambler will do, Ben. What is it, Mr. Lieber? Well, I guess this was meant for you, Ben. I owe yous. For me? Uh-huh. Quite a few of them. Signed by you. Are they from Blackjack Smith? They seem to be. Oh, so you did settle with him now, Ben. Well, you're smart. He might have killed you if you hadn't. But I haven't settled with him. He has written a note that seems to belie your statement. Read it to me, Dad. I'm returning the IOUs as I promised. This makes everything square between us. Signed, B.J. Smith. But, Dad, I don't understand. He'd hardly return this evidence of a debt without a reason. He wanted some information from you, didn't he, Ben? Yes, but I... I remember one of the boys saying that he made you a proposition in the cafe. He did. But I turned it down. I wouldn't blame you if you'd changed your mind and taken up his proposition. After all, Ben, your life is more important than anything else. But I tell you, I didn't give him what he wanted. Dad, he wanted a sealed envelope from your safe. Uh-huh. 
He wanted Gee. that list of landowners that Mr. Sprague is going to call on. He figured he could buy the land and then make you pay a high price for it. Uh, did you give him the list of names, Ben? Of course not. Ben, if you did do it, you'd better tell your pa. He can see if the envelope's been opened. But I didn't do it. I don't know why he sent back those IOUs. Yeah, here, take them, Ben. They're yours. Thanks. I'll tear them up. Mr. Lever, I've got to see you. Oh, hello, Sprague. We've been double-crossed. Double-crossed? What do you mean, Sprague? That gambler B.J. Smith who came into town a few days ago has licked us. How's that? I hear he bought options on some of the land that we need. Well, are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I just saw him in the lobby of the hotel. He's been busy for the past two days buying up options. Now, if you want land for the right of way, you'll have to wait until his options expire. We can't do that. Or pay whatever price that crook demands. We can't do that either. How did he find out what land we wanted? That's what I'd like to know. Well, you had the information, didn't you, Spray? Yes. And I know there was no leak through my office. Smith got our confidential list. He got it from this office. Yeah. I can't believe that. Then, do you know anything about it? No. Why should I? You owed Smith a lot of money, didn't you? Yes, And but... he tried to make a deal with you, didn't he? I turned him down. I'd like to believe you. It's hard to believe, especially after the way Smith returned those IOUs. What's that? You can believe me or not. I didn't deal with Blackjack Smith or anyone else. I haven't even seen him since the poker game. Now, just a minute. Is that safe unlocked? I think so, Mr. Lever. Uh, look at the envelope and see if it's been tampered with. It's a big brown envelope, isn't it, uh, Mr. Lever? Yes. I remember you showing me how it was sealed. Uh, here it is. Oh, it's still there, huh? That's good. It's here. But the seal has been broken. Seal what? broken? Someone has opened this envelope. So that's the answer. Now we know why Blackjack Smith sent back those IOUs. Don't you accuse me. Why not? Who else is there to accuse? You don't see anyone sending me $1,000. Look here, Ben. Why don't you admit the truth? No one can blame you for saving your neck. Your father doesn't understand. If you say any more, I'll smash your nose. Dad, you've got to believe me. I swear I didn't touch that envelope. Now, just a minute, Ben. Look out there. A masked man. He's got the gambler. Tonto, I know that Indian. You'll regret this. I'll have the law on you. We'll talk about the law later. Get in there. Who is that masked man? I've seen the Indian before. Maybe the masked man's here to rob him. I'll sit still. In you go, Blackjack. Get over there. Stay here, you. I'll reach for that gun, Madison. I know the law. I know my rights. I'll throw all of you in jail. Lever, I think you want to jail this man. Good. Don't talk about jailing me. I'll jail you, and you too, Lever. So you're Blackjack Smith, huh? The name is B.J. Smith. You're the gent that's been buying options on real estate. One of it. There's no law against it. Sprague is a lawyer. He'll tell you that you can't touch me because I outsmarted you. But you did buy options on land? Yes, I did. And you can't get them by sending that masked man to drag me here. If you want that land, you'll pay for it. You'll pay plenty. I know where I stand. Just a minute. And it's for you... Like Jack, how did you know what land the railroad wanted? I'll answer that. Ben Lever gave me the list. Ben? That's a downright lie. It's the truth and you know it. He gave me the list, John Lever. What are you going to do about that? If there's a law against doing what I've done, I never heard of it. There's a law against helping yourself to it in the middle of the night, Blackjack. There's a law against coming here with Harv Madison and stealing the list. We didn't do anything of the kind. You think you can prove that? Didn't you two sneak into this office at night? No. Uh, of course not. Madison, didn't you open that safe and get a large brown envelope for Blackjack? No. Watch yourself, Madison. I mean, an envelope like the one John Lever is holding. This is the envelope that was in the safe. Didn't you hand that to Blackjack? Didn't he open it and copy the names that were inside? No. Let's have the truth, Madison. I've told the truth. You have not. Look at John Lever's fingers. Uh, what about what, what the what other stained brown? Take a good look. That envelope was dusted with a brown powder. When that powder touches anyone's skin, it makes a brown stain. <laughs> and that stain won't come off for several days unless you know what to use. Soap and water won't remove it. Now we'll see who handled that envelope. Well, look at my hands. There's no brown stains on them. How about you, Madison? You... Or should I use your right name? Harvey Martin. Bank robber from Osage. You know. <coughs> Get him up. Hey, oh, hey. Get your hands up. I'm not going to be taken. You got him covered. I'll take the gun. There. Blackjack, get him. Right, I'll get him. Oh! I Black... hoped you'd go for a gun, Blackjack. My hand. My hand. You've dealt from the bottom for the last time. Uh, here, other hand. Plenty brown stain on fingers. Let go of me. Greg, as I said before, you're a witness to this affair. Yes. And if I know anything about law... These two are headed for jail. Let me talk. Mr. Lieber, please give me another chance. I didn't want to do it. Blackjack made me. Blackmailed me. Give me another chance, won't you? Out of Lieber's hands. You're going back to Osage to answer for that bank robbery. How did you know about that? He knows things, Harvey. 
If I'd known he was around here, I'd have gone differently. Oh, you saw me, Blackjack. Not here. Don't you remember the man who tossed you through the window? What? You? The Mexican. Was that you? Yes, Ben. I covered my face with the same stain that marked Blackjack's hands. Well, you may think you've won, but you haven't. I still hold trump cards. Lever, I hold options on six pieces of land. Yeah, what of it? Put me in jail, you'll have to wait six months for the options to expire. And if I don't prefer charges? I'll sell you the options for the price I paid. It's no deal. No deal? You can't wait six months to get that land? I don't want the land. What? what? You don't what do you mean? You see, Blackjack, I removed the original envelope and replaced it with a similar one that held a different list of names. What? The masked man helped me prepare a list of deserving people who needed cash. The money you paid for options that will never be taken up meant a lot to those people. That, that masked man of all the... The bank is right across the road from the jail, Blackjack. You can sit near your barred window and watch some very happy people pay off mortgages on their land. It should make you happy to know that your money made those people happy. <laughs> just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.